So I missed Monday and I missed Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, it's just there's so much in my head and so much in my computer that I have to go through. But uh, what I was going to say is that usually on Mondays, I'm probably going to post something on Twitter a lot more frequently. I'm going to try to repost my Medium article that I read if it's a worthy article on my Twitter on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to try to dive into what I call the stack the, the it's not just a tech stack it's like a relationship stack of apps partners and ideas all in a, like a like a like a cloud stack or a tech stack a partner stack an idea stack a process stack of how to wireframe a business using the automated method okay and so it, you, and a lot of these tricks are things that my business does remember a transparent box so if you if you want jump in my calendar you know, schedule.theautomatedmethod.com. It's an A record and it's pointing to Calendly. And what you can do is we can have a conversation because I would like to share with you how some of these things work. So call to action. That's what this video is for. One of the ways my call to action works is the email address. A lot of people have been asking me about this. So the email address start at the automated method is hosted with G Suite. It's a professional G Suite account, but I don't use it for email. What I use it for is it's a trigger. Okay, and what I mean by a trigger is you can use email as um, part of a programming language, right? So someone sends an email, it doesn't necessarily just ha be an email box, it can have tasks associated with it. And I'm sure if people that use Evernote know this, I'm sure people that use Hubdoc know this, or a lot of apps, or I'm sure you realize if you're running a CRM right now, the BCC field inside your CRM is that function as well, because you can now push information into your CRM via email. Now, for my case, I can, I can go down the Evernote one because that's a whole other amazing uh, process that I've created on my phone. But what I did was I created an email because I like sentences. So start at theautomatedmethod.com is a sentence. The email is a trigger. It's running through Zapier, zapier.com. So Zapier is where you can create situations like if something happens do this or do this at this time and it's a very very robust if this then that type of app and it's if anybody that runs a business doesn't know what it is get on that train right now zapier has changed my life it's one of those so maybe i'm gonna say first app app of the day on today zapier okay now, of course, I said G Suite, and I would consider G Suite a, like an organization that you have to be part of, like Google or Microsoft, Office 365 or Google. We won't go there right now. but So the email address, what happens is I have effectively put it inside Zapier because I wanted to collect as well as reply. And I think a lot of people already do that with a lot of email addresses. But the way mine works is you email start at theautomatedmethod.com. And it goes through a channels of my of the apps that I use, and so it goes into my uh, CRM. So it deposits your con. It, I got in my universal co Google contact list. It puts the email address, first last email address. Second thing it does is it um, goes into HubSpot and it deposits first last email address into HubSpot, right? And then the third thing it does is it puts it dumps my HubSpot contacts into Mailchimp, and then my Mailchimp contacts are there. So now I have a, a like a list. Then I have, I use Quotient for my quoting software. So it deposits as, and Quotient has this new feature, Quotient.com, I'll talk about that another day. It's not really a popular app, but I totally love it for quoting, it's fantastic. What it does is it has a feature called new leads. So it do goes and puts new leads into a, fu into a function inside Quotient. Then I have Zapier use the text SMS service to randomly send a text message that lets me know that a new person has emailed the address. Why? Because I'm not looking at the email address, but I have that text message address whitelisted on my phone, so it goes, it makes a vibration. So I know that someone has emailed start at theautomatedmethod.com. That's probably going to get crazy the more I talk about this, but in the in the beginning, it was very good because I could be like, you know, it's a new lead, so I'd rather focus my attention on a potential Con, you know, person I can convert because I love this conversation. So that's what the text message is for because I hate email, right? So then what happens is and in the same instantaneous window of time, Zapier goes in my Google Drive and inside my Google Drive, I have an image, I have PDFs and an image. One of the, one of the images is an ad that I made up called introduce me to your IT guy. Because I feel like a lot of that joke where is that if you can if you can have a conversation with the IT person, you pretty much get all the way up to the owner of the business because start at the IT level and find issues with the technology and then you can go to processes. It's how I start a consulting gig. 
because I mean, I'm really good at making fun of bad decisions in technology. And so I'll do that. And then I can start talking about process, people, brand, marketing, see what I'm saying? So you can go up, you can get into high level conversation by attacking the IT side, because that's a service that the automated method offers as well. Inclusive in the membership program with the automated method is worry-free IT. So why wouldn't you, because I figure that's the heart, that's the best thing to offer that I know the most that will save your business the most money and the most time is, you know, technology, you know, not working for you. So we stop that dead when you have an arrangement with the automated method and we can get into process and partnerships and branding and modern, all those cool conversations that I'm having right now. So what happens is in the Google Drive is it grabs that image and a PDF. Now the PDF is something I thought was funny. It's called a letter of intent. So I wrote a letter of intent with the automated methods letterhead and then a signature at the bottom as if it's like a, a relationship starter. And the way that it says it, it writes is it's very funny and a friend of mine helped me write the copy and it's basically telling you what I wanna do for your business, what the automated method wants to do for your business. Now, check this out, we're not done. What happens is that email address has now morphed and it's changed and Zapier is gonna send from Jason at, which is an address that I don't use the same way that you do, but we can get into that conversation as well with all these discussions. So now Jason at, it, it's got a combo body, grabs the first name, puts it in the variable, and the body has also a link to my calendar, which is schedule.theautomatedmethod.com that lets you know that uh, it's available. Then it attaches that image and that PDF in there and sends it back to the email address that was sent to start at theautomatedmethod.com. I was having fun with that because there's a lot of steps in there that I didn't want to do and I wanted to automate. And so what I, that, is the, that is the beginning of my call to action, is an email address. I can put that email address in a form. I can do a million different things with that. And it behaves the same way every time every someone emails it. And it does a checksum too and doesn't email them again if they're already inside my HubSpot, which is my CRM, which is how I control all the conversations like you should. So see how that works. <sighs> Took me a long time to like, can tell myself that I wanted to open that up as a conversation. But the reason why I wanted to open that up as a conversation is because now is the time it's quarantine. It's the new normal. And people want to do everything. The automated method, you know, offers people want what we sell. So the call to action comes out now. And then what I do is I go back and I can see all the leads and then I can make the, you know, from those leads, I can go send quotes and from the quotes, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that the, uh, that the business offers and that's how it all starts, right? Like now you can imagine that the, the, the way that I feel about that email address is I totally respect it because it is the entry point to a relationship with a potential customer and it solves so many problems and it's cool and it's new it's modern and it's marketing and it makes fun of email but at the same time does what email does for people if they just think that marketing is just email so i can make fun of bad business while using an email address you can see that um, a lot of those things are what my business does or what I did in my business. I created these pathways, these process pathways that were effectively there to remove all human interaction, but at the same time be more effective than a human as well. And I can tell you that that, that one, that and like all the apps in my, in my pipeline, all them communicating, you know, we'll get to that. But my app for the day is Zapier. Okay. Zapier.com.